Hello, welcome to the craft room. Thanks to all returning and a big hello to and welcome to those who are here for the first time. Today is day 17 of the um, <clears throat> 100 day project. What I've decided to do is I'm going to have a look at um, Roxy's uh, creations Rachel's channel have a look and see what she's doing and then I'll do something um, that can go into hopefully um, into this if it doesn't suit well then um, we'll we'll work on something else but um, I'll try and use some of her inspirations what I've got is a few little scraps I'll just pop my little book back in here I just want to keep it safe um, I've got the pages here, um, I've got a little bit of sewing paper, I've got some um, coffee dyed paper here, I've also got some little bits of lace that I'd printed out and I think these are from, um, those are from, um, they're either Rachel's or uh, cinnamon tea gales so one some of both I think um, I've also got some of Rachel's um, antique papers uh, that I've printed onto coffee paper so that I've got a, a selection of papers to to uh, muck around with this is one of her beautiful store folders I've got in a, a parcel from uh, Rachel I also went on, I had no idea what Wikimedia Common was. It's amazing. Um, so many um, things on there that you can use. Um, so I've, I've got some ladies. Um, I don't know if you remember yesterday, I got some of those um, coin envelopes um, in the post. And I was thinking at some stage I might do something like, well, I'd love to do that with Jane Austen. Um, but yeah, so that's um, why I printed some of those out. I could also do um, with some of these little um, stitch uh, pieces, you know, just little bits of, um, you know, some of the stitches in there. I thought that would be a little bit different too. Um, I've also got a couple of old homes. Um, this one looks like the one that was in Sense and Sensibility, and I think that used, was used for it too. A um, couple of book pages that I might use, but um, I just sort of thought, well, I'll go on and see. Whoops, sorry, I've just knocked that. Um, what's available. So, a really good... Um, so thank you Rachel for mentioning that so that I can or we can all have a, a little look to see what's around okay first up I decided to I uh, had these little um, vintage book covers they're called and I tried to find the name of the person that I got them from um, and all I've done is put them in a folder on my computer under vintage book covers so if you're out there possibly nobody that <laughs> would be watching my little old channel but if you do know who um, did them um, please uh, let me know so that I can give them credit where credit's due what I did I got some paper and we've all done this before stitch down the middle pop the papers in the little folder and then you have your little booklet what I'm going to do is finish off the back of it I'll just pick this here I pulled the stitches through so that we've got both stitches on the back you see that uh, yeah you see the stitches are on the back so what I want to do is make sure that they don't go anywhere and I thought best way to do that I'm going to just pop a little bit of calico down the back so do, do that. So 
So we've got that like that. Just going to fray it a little bit. It's already frayed a fair bit, so I've got my little of threads there that I'm, and a big bin up the top. I just use them every now and again to make little birds' nests and things on pages. Okay. So I just want to pop that. And when I'm running it down the centre here, I'm just going to bring those threads back down the centre and that way that has that is going nowhere so the threads are all hidden and then I'll just put a little bit down the rest of the and I'm just going to smooth it out with my finger and that way it won't bleed through the material as much it, won't, it will still bleed through but not as much as if I hadn't done that so so we'll just pop that down there. Oh. It does grab straight away when you do that too. Okay. So there's our little booklet, and that's, I've done that. That was crooked, can't be having crooked. Okay, you can see there that it hasn't bled through the back. Now I have got, I'm pretty sure this was in a parcel from um, Jeanette. Ross and I thought I might just pop that down on the back or this one I've bought I love this one it's, it's really and put a piece down actually I might just cut that off and see what it looks like a piece down each side If I join it up in the middle, yes, I do like that. So we'll do that one. Okay. So this is very simple, very very simple little little um, book. I'm going to do. A little piece down here you can see that I wasn't very st straight there was I uh -oh. Adds to the interest, hey. And then we'll pop a little bit down here as well. And then we've got our little booklet. A little bit of inking around the edge. You can tiss it up if we want to. That's entirely up to to you. But there we've got our little notebook. Okay, now I just wondered if we pop one of one of these little bits of lace these are all little bits of lace that are um in the 
that I printed out and I printed them out on the I forget what they call this there's like 48 pieces you can print out to a page and um, I sometimes make them make them look like um, stamps cut them off as stamps just a little bit around there Just reveal it just to make it look a bit okay. So I'm just going to pop that in, in here with a little bit of. I'll put a couple of pieces of this across the top that I'm going to ink it a little bit because what I'm going to do is make it like a little pocket I wonder if I'm going from I'm jumping all over the place one minute I'm going to do this, the next minute, but that's how your creativity or mind does. It flow, goes all over the, the place. I never know where I'm going to, or what I'm going to end up doing. A little bit more. Oh, fingers, please do it. And I could sew that, but then you'd see through the bottom. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to um, glue around the edge of that and turn it into a pocket. So I'll do this down here. What was it I was watching? And they dab, they go dab, dab, dab. It might be Pam at Outpost. Yes, it was. Pam at the Outpost. And she just says, dab, 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 dab. That's what I usually say as I'm, or to myself, sometimes I'll say it out loud when I'm stamping. So then you've got a little pocket there. I'll pop that on there like that. Is, this book is going to be full, I think, of very tiny pieces of ephemera. So it'll be, uh, I'll just pop that in there so that it does, uh, doesn't stick to the page. So there we go. Like that. Now, will I or won't I? If I do, no, I'm going to leave it like that. And then we could pop, or could we put in there? couple of pieces of these are little tiny wing pictures of antique lace
these could be popped onto um, uh, coffee paper. Sorry, I've got to go to the optician with this eye of mine in a minute, and it's um, yeah, I guess I'm starting to worry about it, but. You see, once you've had one detached eye retina, you or tear in the retina, you start thinking the worst before you even get there. So, so there we go. There's just a little piece of ephemera, and I thought that one. Oh, just get that out of there. Can go. because you'll have your pages there in this one is going either well it'll either go in there or there could go there couldn't it because the little sampler that I'm doing is going to go either side here but either way it'll go in one of these little little areas so that's our first piece of ephemera done Okay, now I just want to do. Um, I did the little pocket yesterday on here, so I just want to do um, a couple of journaling cards to go in there. I don't know if I, I think they are, or do we do? I suppose we could turn that into a journaling card, couldn't we? Or here's my piece of oh gosh, Jeanette. I had a piece of book page. Here it is. Here it is. Let's do book page instead. I like using that. I've got a beautiful book, and do you think I can find it? It's got um, really thick, stiff pages, and. It's a really, really old book, and I thought, wow, I'm going to use that. And do you think I can find it? Nowhere to be seen. So that's the end of that. Unless I use this one, but this is the pages on this one are pretty frail. This is it's called Redemption, Frederick Day Twait, but it's it's some um, a lovely colour if I if I um, cover up the, the script. So if we make it, perhaps if we make it in there, and you can feel it tearing already. And that's there. And that'll be a nice base for the um, journal card. Oh, for goodness sake, I can't find a damn thing. Use that one. Tearing up pretty easy. Okay. So the back we will line with coffee dyed paper. Doesn't seem to be anything bad written on it, so as I'm perusing it quickly. I usually have a quick read of the books to get the gist of what's happening, but I haven't done it on this one. Everybody's well. You can 
busy. I think I'm coming to terms with this um, video maker that I've found. Um, I had three videos yesterday, one stopped and then it started and then it went for 33 minutes and of course um, I've worked out that the camera shuts off after the 33 minutes so that was the end of that and um, it um, I'm being a bit blurry let's put Jane Austen I have to get some more and print some more off I've got a whole load of um, antique paper relays somewhere. I don't know why I use that paper when I'm going to cover it up, but you know, it's what you do, don't you? This is a piece of some um, the uh, lace. I'm pretty sure it's Roxy's. This one, Rachel's. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I'll not put it. No, it does go that way. on a
a um, sticker. Now we want something down the side here. Those pieces. Now I've got a little piece, little bits of antique paper here. Um, they always look nice, don't they? Just to put a bit of colour. the thing. Why is that looking at me? Something else I had here too. These little bits that were cut out. That one's not going to show. That one might. Just as a little corner. <clears throat> Just going to pop that down. something up there doesn't it um These are um, little butterflies I printed off of, uh, I got them from, I'll have, to, I'll have to put it in the link below, there's a whole load of um, vintage birds, butterflies, what else have I got, um, animals, and they, um, they were all in a, a little um, kit and there was a hundred of them and I just print them off as a um, and use them like stamps make them into stamps and do this to them, pop the the little bits on them and then if I do want a teeny weeny one I just um, tear that off too now let's just see if that is going to work so I don't know if you like just me crafting along like this and um, you know it's taking longer um, my videos are normally fairly straight into the point but I'm sort of enjoying doing something a little bit different and, and going that little bit further and I think I said yesterday that I wasn't going to ink in this but you know we do tell cubits sometimes don't we and I think I will do that yep. so I'll pop this down with um, glitter glue uh, glitter glue and I just just pop it around the like that I have got the oh, bigger as my mum would say um, stamping up to a, a tiny little um, glue 
bottle too and I've got that there somewhere but I don't it's over the other side of the room where the class sits so we just use this one that one is clear as well they both dry clear so it doesn't really um, make much or muchness whichever one I use Okay, so we're going to pop her there. So I just want to put this underneath. That looks about right. And I'll just pop her down with glue. Oh, that's got a, that's a sticker so we can stick that. And Jane Austen's got nothing to do with sewing, but I just like that picture. <laughs> Now, just if you're going to, I was going to do cabinet cards, but I'll save those for another day and we'll make some cabinet cards and I'll cut out. I've got some dies that we can um, cut out some shapes and I've got some of my family photos that I will... Um, copy um, the cabinet cards and make similarities to them and so that will be another that's worked out nice for someone who likes to know where she's going before she comes on camera as a rule excuse me being reaching over I just pop that lid on that one and the lid on that one and the lid on that one And I think that'll do. That's, um, I quite like that. I um, don't know that it needs a label. Perhaps it might just need a flower or something on there. Um, wrong tub, wrong tub. I've just got all my tubs underneath here. I should have just got some what's that grass. get these out more often. Oh, there's those little ones. Those little bubby ones will get those. These came in a, I think it was a book. And it was just the little, um, little flowers. Uh, now, where did I put that? There it is. Little flowers and, um, mason jars and a vase uh, let's pop perhaps that one and we'll do it in the vintage photo let's just see what it looks like stamped first and we'll get, out, get my stamping mat Just helps it to, uh, yeah, just helps it to sink into the page a little bit. And I'll just pop it onto that photo. Yeah, that's just, oh, look what I did. I'd have to put, oh, God, Jeanette, you're a 
Nessa. That's why you need to check your corners. Things. Looks okay, but I don't like the way that's happened. Well, it's going to have to stay like that. I might have to look into printing another photo and popping on there later and, you know, just doing it again because that's, that's bad. That's bad stamping. Oh, where do you belong up there? Okay. So that one... is going to go into the pocket and I didn't so that's there that's the first and then we'll pop that into the and that will be in there so that will either be there, there, or it may in turn be back there. Might be there. Okay. So that's it for today. If you like this video, I'd be happy if you would share. Um, please like and comment i love to um answer your comments uh please stay safe be happy and healthy and happy crafting to you until we meet in the next video okay bye for now take care <laughs>